What's up guys, in today's video, I'm reviewing this brand new Bluetooth speaker that I've just received. This is the DB1 Double Bass, it's by a company called UB Plus. This was released very recently on Indiegogo, they smashed their crowdfunding and it's now started shipping. As you can see, I've bought two of them. They come in at $499 each. Check out the link in the description to always see the latest pricing information in case they have any discounts running and to see the full specifications. This comes in three colors. You have glossy black, glossy white, and metallic gray. I have them in glossy black and they are gonna match a lot of furniture that I have around the house. I'm gonna be connecting it to my phone because they do have a specific UB Plus app that you can also connect. And you can also pair up to eight of these speakers together as a daisy chain. So I'm gonna connect both of these together and showcase how it sounds side by side. A lot of features, I'm really excited. Let's go ahead and unbox this, showcase how to set it up, go through some of the app settings, and ultimately, let's go ahead and see how it sounds. But also do remember that how you are listening to this video will be slightly different to how I hear the audio from the speakers in person. So just bear that in mind, but hopefully it will give you a good idea of how powerful the bass is and how clear the audio is and how clear you can get dialogues from this as well if you do use it to maybe watch and stream content. So let's get straight into it. So let's go ahead, open this up. So you have yourself the quick start guide. Now there's a panel in here. This will be the magnetic base of the tripod that will connect to the three different legs, just there at the bottom. You have in here a white USB-C cable to charge up your speaker. Then you'll notice there's a couple of little black things here. This is actually going to be connecting to the strap, which I'll showcase in a second. So I will take both of these out, as well as the strap that will basically become the handle to carry the speaker, making it a little bit more portable and easier to take with you in different rooms. Down inside, you have yourself the speaker. Let me just show you the last thing. And you have three of these in the box. These are the tripod legs. So you just screw them into place, very quick and easy to do so. You start with the largest one, then the medium size, then the thinnest one right at the bottom, and you screw them right into the base of here. And this will connect to the magnetic bottom of the Bluetooth speaker, and I'll showcase that once it's all connected. Okay, and here is the speaker. You can see at the front, it's got this nice gold and black accent combination, which I think is a very good combination, to be honest. It's got the UB Plus logo just there. It's very reflective, i.e. the glossy black. You can see there's the large speakers just on the right hand side. This has a 4.5 inch woofer built into it. And these are 5.2 inch passive radiators, which are on both sides. That essentially will distribute the airflow evenly, resulting in a lot cleaner and deeper bass. Along the bottom, you have yourself the magnetic connector that will connect to the little tripod head. It is a very strong magnet and you can actually pick up the speaker with the tripod connected together. It takes a bit of a force to pull it off, which actually shows how strong this is. And then just in this compartment here, you have yourself the USB-C charging port and also an auxiliary port if you wanted to connect that via a wire. The USB-C port not only powers and charges the Bluetooth speaker, but it also allows for a USB-C flash drive that you can connect. You can put some music on there and play that back directly from the flash drive connected to this, which I think is also a very nice touch. You also have the control knob there at the top. You hold this down for a few seconds to turn it on and likewise for a few seconds to turn it off. You hold it down for two seconds and it will go into Bluetooth pairing mode. There is an LED ring here that will light up and flash and blink white when it is in pairing mode. And you do get the confirmation audio when you are doing pretty much everything, i.e. whether it's connecting it to the Bluetooth device or turning it on and off and disconnects as well. Okay, to affix the strap, you grab the little handle, you put the flat side in from behind, and then you push the pointy part down into the rubber strap so it pops out like this. Then you bring the strap, you open it open like this, you put it behind the flat part, and then you push it upwards, and then you should be able to close the gap. So there we go, it's now been tightened, and there you have it. 
that is how you put the strap on so you've got it on both sides and this is now your carry handle I'm going to go ahead and put the tripod legs on that and show you how that looks in a full view and here's the final result you can see it looks very nice with the gold legs and the black speaker the combination of the colors I just think this is fantastic it's very lightweight as well so it's so easy to take with you it has a very strong magnet which I think is very convenient so here's an example I've got this next to me if I pick this up you can see how easy it is just to carry it it's not going to fall off the tripod which is a very important thing and they are very stable and sturdy now not only does this have a powerful bass inbuilt into this this also has 60 watt output of stereo sound which is quite powerful and this would be very loud in pretty much any room so I'm going to be connecting it to my phone for the very first time let's go ahead and turn this on so you just hold down the button just there on the top of the speaker standby so it goes into standby mode to connect it into pairing mode you just hold it down for two seconds you should see a blinking light pairing so now that it is in pairing mode let's go ahead and connect it it should come up as UB plus in your Bluetooth settings and you can see at the bottom UB plus pairing successful now that has paired successfully let's go ahead and I'm going to play a demo audio but first I wanted to showcase with the audio coming directly from my phone and going into the microphone that's just outside of the frame here the difference the audio quality is by playing it back between your phone and a speaker like this so I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect it now let's open up a song The volume is set to about 40%. Of course, this is not a side-by-side -side comparison of phone audios versus Bluetooth speaker audios, but I just wanted to showcase if you do listen to something on your phone, then if you want to connect it to a speaker like this, this is how much of a difference it can make. Okay, let's go back and reconnect this. Now let's continue playing that same song and you would also see these passive radiators on the side bounce to the music because it will just give you that much nicer look of a very powerful bass Bluetooth speaker. I'm just going to pause it there you can also use the top of the knob to control the music so if you twist it right it will turn the volume up and if you twist it to the other way it will turn the volume down it can go very loud and I don't want to hurt your ears by going so loud but hopefully that gave you an indication of the high quality of the bass that comes from this as well as the audio now that I've shown you how it sounds with one of these speakers using my song on Spotify I want to connect it to the UB plus seek app available for both iOS and Android and see the capabilities of what you can also take this further with. Right, so I've opened up the app and let's go ahead and first of all pair this via Bluetooth. So this one you can see has shown up on the list. You hit OK. You can switch it on from here as well, which is quite nice. So if you've got the speaker set up somewhere else, you can remotely turn it on and off from your phone. So it's turned on and you can see the battery life on this as well is currently at 90%. This is the A2 model and it's quite convenient. So you can see the power button just there at the bottom. On the bottom left, you've got this waveform. These are basically allows you to set a certain preset and have this sound slightly different based on one of these six presets there. But you can also increase, decrease the bass, the mid and the treble to get the audio to sound however exactly you like it. So if you think maybe the bass is too high, you can actually turn it down from here. But let's go ahead, turn the bass down all the way just so you guys can see how well it gets controlled via the app. Hopefully you can hear that a little bit, the bass is down to zero. 
I'm gonna put all of them down to zero actually. So it does sound a lot more flat. Still the audio is not too bad. Let's put them to the max. You see the big difference. And the best thing about this is you can also set your custom presets. So if you wanted to make adjustments, like for example, set them all to their max. If I just quickly do that, you can go to save as, input the EQ name, and then hit save, and that will be set as your preset. So a very nice functionality there. You can also control the volume from here. So if you hit that volume button just on the bottom right, there's a little slider. You can go all the way around and it's very quick and easy to do that. And then right at the bottom, on the right hand side, you have the play and pause button. Then you also have the next button there just to control your music directly from here. On the top right, if you hit those four dots, you can rename your device. So if you have multiple DB1 speakers in the house, just so you can name them for different rooms, for example, this is the best way to do it from here. Okay, so next, let's take a look at pairing both of these together so they can simultaneously play the same audio from your device. This is called TWS, which is the true wireless stereo. So what you need to do is let's go ahead and first turn both of these on, put them into pairing mode. Pairing. So I'll go back to my Bluetooth settings and I will reconnect to both of them. Connected. Connected. There you go, you got the audio confirmation. Let's go back to the UB Plus Seek app, go into the top left menu. Now you can see both of them are listed there, they are on. If you select both of them, and again, you can have up to eight, so if you have a lot of these, they will all appear on the app like this. Hit TWS. TWS. TWS, TWS connected. You got the confirmation TWS have been connected. So now you have a single view with the TWS logo right there on the middle of the speaker icon. So if I go back into playing an audio, that will now come from both of these speakers. So let's go back to Spotify. I'll put the volume down a little bit. Now this is a very nice way to get more of an immersive surround sound speaker experience while still getting very high quality audio with a very good bass and I'm so impressed with the quality of the audio from this. For me, the price tag on this I think would warrant how powerful this is, not to mention how durable, how good this looks, just the overall design of it, I think is you know, one of the nicest designed and sounding speakers I have ever tested. Let's go ahead and put the volume up a little bit. Get more of a surround sound speaker experience from my microphone. And I think that just works great. Now there's multiple use cases with this. You can set it up with your TV, you can set it up with your laptop, your phone, many different devices. I'm probably even going to use this in my home gym because having a very nice speaker system with good music gets you really pumping and working out that much harder. I think it's gonna be a lot nicer to have that there. So let's take a look at some of these use cases around the house. Music, wherever your day takes you. DB is by far our most powerful speaker. Distinctive sound quality and artistic appearance. Enjoy music with second to none sound quality. A cinematic home theater experience. Or go viral with our speaker. Synchronize up to eight units and get the party started.
Every detail is carefully designed, making sure the aesthetic matches the sound. It looks, I mean, honest, look how sleek it looks. It looks futuristic. Wow, I love the detail on this speaker. This speaker is amazing. Good quality, good bass, since I want to play it, I feel it. Whoa, the beads up here go even harder with this stereo system. I love this design on the side. I feel like I can get the tattooed on me. This bass? Are you kidding me? Available only on Kickstarter. Order yours today. So that's it guys, hopefully you found the review of these DB1 double bass speakers very useful. If you like the sound of this, if you like the design of this, make sure to like this video. Take a look at the description to find out all the information that you want to know regarding these speakers and how you can go ahead and purchase it. Take a look at my link and find out the latest pricing information in case they do have some discounts running for you guys. I think for me personally, this is very worth it. I can see myself using this in various different rooms around the house. One other feature I really like about this is that you can go from one room to another. So if you've got this set in this room here and you've got the second one set in another living room, for example, you can go ahead from the app very easily, switch the audio from one speaker to the next speaker if you are going to a different room to maybe just chill out in a little bit. So I think that's quite nice and there's a lot of things you can really do with this and I'm going to see myself using this very long term. It's my best speaker I've had hands down. Make sure to also subscribe. I've got plenty of tech reviews with very cool gadgets like this coming out very soon. New videos out every week and I will catch you guys at the next one. Take care.